Court Street opened as part of the IND Fulton Street line in 1936. It was built as a terminal for local trains which would not continue to Manhattan. Trains were to stop at Hoyt Skirmerhorn on the local track, then continue to the crossover and terminate at Court Street on one of the two tracks, before proceeding on the opposite track back to Hoyt Skirmerhorn. The service that was intended to serve the station was the Double H, which would run local from Court Street to Euclid Ave. However, since express service had not yet begun, local trains continued to Manhattan and shuttle trains marked as Double H ran from Hoyt Skirmerhorn to Court Street. Due to the numerous nearby stations and the transfer required at Hoyt Skirmerhorn, the shuttle had very low ridership and Court Street, as well as the Hoyt Skirmerhorn outer tracks and platforms, was abandoned in 1946. After express service began in 1949, all trains continued to Manhattan and Court Street did not reopen. The entrances were sealed, but the tracks were still connected and occasionally used by trains to keep the rails polished, as the IND expected to soon use the station to connect the 2nd Avenue line to the Fulton Street line. However, the 2nd Avenue line was never completed and the station lay dormant for many years, sometimes used as a movie set or to test cleaning products. In 1976, as part of the bicentennial celebration, the station reopened as an exhibit of preserved subway cars and various other transit artifacts. One entrance was reopened and the mezzanine was repurposed. Fan trips would run on the weekends between 57th Street and Rockaway Park, stopping at the exhibit for an hour. The exhibit was planned to close after just a few months, but it was so popular that it remained open longer than expected. Eventually, it became a permanent museum and an elevator was installed. Some modifications to the platform were made to allow for narrower cars on one track and various extra exhibits were added in the 1990s. Occasionally the exhibit cars are moved via the local tracks at Hoyt Skirmerhorn and movies are still shot at the station. The New York Transit Museum is still open to this day for transit fans of all ages and is a great place to begin learning about the extensive history of the New York City rapid transit system. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.